I think I would now consider myself to be fairly versed in the black midi world, seeing as I've reacted to a fair few videos now. And two of my previous videos have been from a YouTube channel called HDSQ. And at this point, I'm pretty much a tribute act. Because today we have a third one entitled Unify, which has over 15 million notes in it. So let's get into it. Nice, I like the chord structure. It's in E flat minor. It's E flat minor, C flat major, D flat major, and B flat minor. It's kind of the four chord sequence, but it's got a nice tune. is a funky beat kind of funky so the concept for this is obviously that they're going through a load of different famous black midi songs the first of which is bad apple <laughs> Keyboard's expanded, so we know we're now getting serious. I wonder if these are kind of written so that they write the melody first and they write the actual tune on a, on a piano so it's playable and then they just throw a load of notes at it. This is Kabito and the Shining Needle. Didn't take very long for the keyboard to expand for this one. That was an interesting key change. It's gone up by a tone or a whole step if you are American. So this one's Night of Nights, kind of like that. Wow, that's starting to get quite intense. That's just going up like a step at a time. Like that, it's climbing. It must be hard when you're trying to connect all of these together because obviously they're all in different keys, so they're going to try and find a way of transitioning them, I guess. Much more manageable to play at this point. I've never seen that before where the keyboard shifts rather than expands.
why that was weird. It was kind of all over the place. They're really getting a lot out of that melody. Kind of like dance music. I could see that in the charts with the funky beat behind it. Is that self-promotion by HSDQ putting their own piece in there? KX2. I've seen this piece floating around somewhere, but I've never listened to it. That was cool. Oh. These last like four songs have all had the same chord structure where it's kind of like just three consecutive chords. I like it though. I really like those sliding notes, they sound really cool. I should put like more of these. Another one in D minor. They really take care with these melodies. I like them. I think this is another one by HDSQ. I don't know whether I keep saying that the right way around. HDSQ. I'm really curious as to how they actually put the notes in. Do they have to like pencil them in on the computer or do they play them in? I know that I sometimes have some black MIDI writers in my comments. So if you've ever written a black MIDI piece, let me know how you actually go about writing it. Another HDSQ one. This is a real self-promotion wagon. It's got exactly the same chord sequence again. Yeah, it's exactly the same. It's like three consecutive chords that just go up. And this one's also in D minor, so very similar to some of the others. It's making me go dizzy again with all of the, uh, the notes on the keyboard flashing. I assume by transition it means it's like transitioning from one to another. It's not just a song called transition. It's 
got some nice like broken chord type things in there. That kind of thing. my contribution. That sounded like, uh, I can't remember the name of these things where you turn them around and it makes a noise that goes <laughs> That was the worst description ever. It's, I'm sure it's got a name. You probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but it sounds like that in slow motion. like that. Sounds like a car going past. This is more like a drum beat than it is a melody. That's one thing that you can definitely do on black midi that you can't really do on keys and that's maintain a melody while trying to like use notes to make a drum beat out of it. Kind of a similar chord sequence again. A very nice tune and it's called Last Summer. It is giving me summer vibes. I just love how the chords are so simple yet very effective because the melodies are very distinct. That was a very abrupt key change. can sense a finale coming and it's going to get pretty epic. We've still got another six million notes to go. Wow, there's a lot of writers on this one. That means it's going to be something good if all of these writers have written on it. It's bit by bit expanding the keyboard. It's another four quarter. Yet yeah, the melody carries it again.
feels kind of like a quest or like a journey, like the final frontier. You can feel the sense of relief at the end of a long road. feels like it's going to go into something pretty insane and you can kind of see it. As always, you can still hear that very clear melody. It's just like there's a lot of going on at the same time. nice that they've got all their names and logos in it for the contributors. It's very cool. I wonder how long that took to put together. It's pretty intense and it's a long old piece, but it's definitely worth it. I have reacted to two previous HD SQ pieces, and one of which is Aranus. So if you are interested in watching that, then head on through and I will see you there.